Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to a brand new tutorial. My name is Prince Mason. I'm a photographer based in Lagos, Nigeria. And today I'm going to be showing you a simple way to color grade your images. Today we're going to be going for the fall effect. We're just going to be trying to get that golden feel in this particular image. And the reason why I want to do that is if you look around here, you can see there are a lot of greens in this image. And um, this is something that I feel like is taking a lot from this particular picture because um, once you look at the picture, the first thing you can see before you see the subject are the green um, leaves and background. So we're trying to fix that. I want to actually change that. Now this image has been retouched, but I haven't actually graded it. So let's get straight into that. But before we do that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure you subscribe and do not forget to turn on notifications so you can receive notifications every time I put up a new video. Also, if you like this video at the end, please give it a thumbs up. It helps this channel a lot. So let's get straight into today's tutorial. Now the first thing I'll do is duplicate the image that I want to use, duplicate the layer that I want to use. So I'm just going to do that. Command J on the Mac, Control J on PC. So I'll do that and name it Dodge and Burn. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to change this to grade. So this is the layer that I want to grade now. Next, I'll go to Filter. Then I'll go to Camera Raw Filter. Now, this is the same Camera Raw that um, comes with almost every Photoshop. So um, check your Photoshop. Um, you definitely have it. But if you don't, you can download the Camera Raw. Um, filter and you know it's just going to be there i think it's free on adobe website just go and download it so yeah i'm going to come to color um, camera calibration then i'll pull my hue my blue primary back probably all the way then my grain i'm going to pull that back too now check out when i'm pulling my green back you can see i'm already getting that nice gold fill at the back right but the only problem now is that her skin tones have been affected so those are the reds and we'll see what we can do with that. Now I'm just going to desaturate that, just not all the way. Then I'm going to move it towards orangey, you know, just get that nice skin tone there. Okay, I think this is, this is good for now. Um, then I'll go to the HSL um, slash grayscale layer and um, let's see if we can play with the hue here. Okay, great. The yellows, we can pull the yellows further back, but I don't think I want to do that. That's fine. Probably the greens further back. Okay, yeah, let's just do that. Um, then the reds, pull them towards the orange a bit. Now, mind you, while I'm doing this, is affecting the lipstick. Now, for this particular image, I do not mind because I want the whole colors to be seamless. Um, so, saturation. Um, Let's add a little saturation to the oranges and a little more to the reds. We'll probably take that out later. So this is where we're at now. Um, like I said, I first started with my blue primaries and I'm getting that feel now. I have not taken out the whole greens and the leaves because I don't want it to look like too golden. That's not the look that I'm going for here. So I'm just going to stop here at this point and click OK. So this is our before and this is our after. As you can see, it's added like a new dimension to the image. The image looks warmer, it looks better, and everything just works now. So this is the before again, and this is the after. Now you can stop here or you can go further, but for me, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to go like a little bit further in this particular image. Um, what I want to do is, you can see there are a lot of cyan's on her, on her dress that she's wearing here, and there are cyan's on the background. But I love the feel that cyan's are having on the background, like the color, but I do not love it on her dress. So what I'm going to do is I'll just go to selective color then I'll come to science and I'll pull my science back. Now what has happened is that the science have actually left the dress. I've removed the science from the whole image but I still don't want that. I just wanted to leave her dress because that's all I'm trying to take out. Of. So now that I've done this I'm just going to invert my layer mask here. So that's command I on Mac and Control I on PC. Then I'll pick a brush, white reveals and black hides. Always remember that. And make sure my flow is on 100%. Then I'll just paint in a dress. Now I don't mind, you know, not being 100% accurate here. It really doesn't matter. So, because it's just on the whites here. And yeah. That's about it. You know, if I want to increase the strength of the science, I can open another selective color layer and just 
you know, I had more science to the back there because I love to fill. I love to fill that skin. So from this point now, what I want to do is I want to brighten the image up a little bit. I want to give it an extra. Um, oh, by the way, now that I increase the science, I think it's back under dress. So all I'll do is pick a brush. Then I'm going to paint black to hide this. That's on the second sand layer. So basically here, I'm revealing, here I'm hiding. Just gonna paint over this again. I hope this does not confuse you. So the first one, I removed the sands. The second one, because I increased the amount of sands that I want in the image, they appeared back on the dress. I want, you know, some sands at the back here because it just adds to the, it just gives you this nice, um, feel that I like so yeah, so I reduced I removed that from the, the dress again Now the next thing I want to do to this image is I want to make it a little brighter. So I'm just going to um, Go to not curves. I'm going to open the levels layer then Remember this is a histogram. You have your whites on your right You have your blacks on your left and you have your mid-tones at the middle. So I'm just going to pull in my whites as you can see, the image is getting brighter. Then I'll pull in my blacks, just to add some small contrast to the image, more contrast to the image. Okay, so this works for me. Okay, this is good. Um, next, I'll probably just want to add a little flare, not like like the sun is coming in for the from the back. I want to you know make it look really. Um, Nice. So what I'll do is I'll change this color. I kind of like pick the color right there. Like, let's see if this works. Create a new layer, right? Use a big brush to put like a nice flare here. Okay. This. Okay. Yeah. So this is the number I'm using in case this works. Yes. Yeah, can you start? Um. So I'm just going to. Paint in here. Then I'll change my blend mood to screen. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a lot. Can I reduce my opacity? I just want to loof blend the image. Then I'll create a layer mask and I'll paint black around her face and her hair because I do not want the flare in there. Just going to remove this from her from her body and her hair. Okay. Reduce the opacity a bit more. Okay, this works for me right here. Okay. Then the next thing I'll do after this is I'll create a curves adjustment layer because I want to have that faded feel. So I'll create a curves adjustment layer. Pick two anchor points here and here. And I'm just going to slide this up. So I'll get that slight nice faded feel. You know what? I'm just going to put down that curve here because I just want the I just want the fill on the blacks. And maybe just a little bit on the whites around here too. Just a tiny bit. Yes. So now I've gotten that fill that I want. And this is our final graded image. So this works for me. Um, so I'm just going to put all this in a group for you guys to see. So this is our before and this is our after. This is our before. This is our after. And I hope this um, has helped you and I hope um, this will help you you know, build up on your color grading and you get better as time goes on on your color grading. So thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you love my channel, you love the content that I'm, you know, making and you want to be a part of this community, you want to support me, please subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, comment below. Let me know if you guys love this video. Let me know more videos you guys want to see. This is a highly requested video, color grading. I'll see if I can do more color grading videos as, you know, as time goes on. I'm trying to like, um, do some um, new fashion shoots then yeah so we'll see so thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll see you guys in another video peace